for today so so are we mid set right now uh yeah we're in game one cool. or game two so game one just ended pull circuit let's go lod staying chic all right there's been a lot of peach shit as a xanadu recently he's gonna give us a little reprieve doesn't yeah. want to do the yoshi because yoshi peach is just a horrible matchup for yoshi uh peach can like almost like shine spike him with the umbrella it's really sad Polish doing a good job of forcing Lod to the platforms, but Lod as Sheik is definitely not uncomfortable on the platforms. He's got better angles with his needles. And Lod definitely like a better player than Juice Box just all around, but in terms of Sheik's questionable and uh I know that Juice Box and Polish have been training sets the last uh, couple of Xanadu's caves. So pretty proficient at this matchup. Polish gonna try to set up an head guard, but Lod landing on the platform makes it back. Oh! Tries to use the turn for recover and then. I, yeah, did he miss that? Did he not? Did no, he I heard the turn? sound. It sounded he hit like it, it, yeah. But off the top anyway. So it doesn't get anything off of that nair. But well, it's a, a little greedy on these down smashes, and Lot's gonna punish that because Lot is also a beach main. Lots of damage off that down smash. And Polish actually gonna keep it going. Great nair. 
Cloud just gonna hold shield on the platform right there. Kinda just wanted to see what Pole was thinking. Polish is not going to go in. Vlad was definitely looking for a back air right there, but yeah. Polish has seen that so many times. He knows. You know, it's not to Peach Ditto, but this matchup, it's still a lot of whole time in space out. Mm -hmm. uh, holding the middle ground. Ooh. Ooh. Single hit of the down smash. Putting Vlad. All right. Off the stage. In a back air. Holding ledge would have been fine, too. But... I like the idea to drop the uh, the turn up there, because I feel like going to platform might have not been a bad idea for a lot, but he didn't get caught in it. Yeah. So well played a lot. Alright, Polish not getting the opening for a minute here. Todd kind of doing what she does in this matchup and just getting a lot of neutral wins. Great re-grab uh, on the platform there. And there's a little bit ambiguous on the direction. Polish and he didn't get up there. Have a lot to finish the Down throw should be fair. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Vlad has a chance here to take game two. Polish. With a uh, bit of stage control right now. Hot face. Watch all the needles for him. Yeah. Turn around, grab ledge, and that'll be it. Vlad playing with a tag on. Yeah, so uh, I guess Polish does have a, a bit of an advantage being able to see where Lot is uh, going to. to yeah. be. I thought it like, should really matter. You should have that coverage anyway, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It takes away some of your ambiguity. Yeah. I'm going to say it's overall bad. It, it removes any sense of mystery. I miss, you know, Xanadu runs UCF, and right when we started UCF, they only had the one that was on the memory card exploit, so it was 20XX, so you, the tag disappeared when you poofed. Was that toggleable on 20XX? I guess it's a little off topic, but. Uh, yeah. Or it was talking a little on, like, tournament edition. Oh, okay. That's yeah, right. that's because we were running it all off TE. Okay. Like, so that was where you, that's the only way you could get UCF for a while. Well, Lod had two stocks. Uh, up, he was up two stocks to one in that game, but Polish actually brought that Polish back. Out. He's staying on Sheik. Lod is out here for the people. Mm -hmm. Or he's just trying to play more games of Yoshi and uh, knows that he can't do that if Polish wins back to <laughs> That's a good point. Want to get rid of Polish? So he can play that Yoshi. How much? Yo I mean, he's been playing Yoshi. I actually only saw it against the two games of Bobby, but I haven't been watching. Like, I haven't seen Lot boxes in winter. He doesn't play as many games. Yeah. Uh, I imagine he's run through with it. I. According to Twitter, he won the cave Yoshi last night. Oh. But also, he said that every time that the cave hasn't had a stream. So oh, I really? don't believe it. <laughs> Uh, and Juicebox was there, and I don't think Juicebox lost to Lot Yoshi. Uh, oh. I, I doubt. Now, how is now? Tag Snap. change, also. Oh, wait, he changed his tag? Potentially. He's he's playtesting it. To Valhalla? Yep. Like, I remember uh, Swag Apocalypse changed his tag oh, yeah, to Ragnarok. Yeah, Rock. yeah. Is it related, or is it just a coincidence? Not at all, just a coincidence, oh, probably. interesting. Well, that's, but how is a cool tag? As we say that. Lod looking Lod a little bit more solid right now. Two stocks again, just yeah. like he was last game. That's true. This could very, uh, very much uh, be turned around by Polish. Polish kind of getting his conversions here. Yeah, good job Not letting up the pressure out. at all. Ooh. Clips the needle and not fast enough, fast enough to... That was a great job by Polish, actually. He, he avoided going to the platform there, and uh, when Lod was expecting him to go, he just went under and then oh, slapped him with that Beautiful air. down tilt to continue that right before Peach hit the ground. Yeah. All right, that back air is going to see out that stock. Okay, Polish, with a bit more of a uh, deficit here, he's going to have to overcome the button. Let's see what he can do. Good in there to keep Lod off stage. Like I said, he's putting on great pressure here. He's got him 80%, possibly all the way to death. Oh, no. That's not a back air you want to miss. Yeah. Lod has a chance to turn it around. But instead, keep down smash. Uh, Peach's down smash is just gross in some instances. Yeah. <laughs> like, that wasn't really real by any means. Lod could have just buffered a roll and gotten away, but... Sometimes but they it don't expect gross. it. They don't expect it the second time. All of a sudden, Polish looking like he might be back in this. Yeah. Good pressure strings. Got a lot off stage here. 
Uh, really bad position though. This is not a good reversal. It's a poor choice just going out there for that. It was great patience by Lod to just kind of respect uh, Polish's approach to the ledge. Yeah. Just kind of bait him out there and then get the grab when he ledge dash back on. All right. This just should be a great tech to keep himself alive for a moment longer, but gonna get grabbed anyway. Matter. That tech was the only thing keeping him from dying to that first down throw. All right, well, while we're in between here, I'm going to plug myself real quick, guys. Sheik SSBM on Twitter, at C-H-I-C SSBM. If you hate my commentary, please come tell me. I want to improve. If you like my commentary, just follow me. I kind of just <laughs> dropped in in the middle of the set, <laughs> but I'm, uh, my tag is Bear. You can follow me on Twitter at MDVA the Bear. I am super happy to be here commentating this, this game four. Oh, that was a nice angle on there. Lod is kind of holding center and yeah. not letting, you know, fantastic spacing right now. Peach probably has the better combo game in this matchup besides, you know, down to the fair. But, uh, she just has a easy time in neutral. Yeah, oh, no, sure. he went for it and instead he gets punished. Wow. Great spacing on that back air too. Oh, it's just a little Nearly. bit antsy. Goes, yeah, goes for that down air or down smash that just wasn't really gonna hit. All right, trade in favor of Lod right there. Did they both just try and grab. I, I couldn't see a Polish grab on the platform. Yeah, they're going down right now. Oh. And the nice thing about full canceling in this matchup is you don't have like needle tricks because aerial is just full cancel. Yeah. And he's gonna transform and gonna get hit, so now he's wow. gotta transform back. Bullish went pretty far out and there to get this. Just going Zelda. I have heard a rumor that Zelda wins this matchup. Is that so? It's I've I've heard the rumor. I don't I mean, it's she, not true, <laughs> I don't believe it, but like well, there's been a couple convincing enough games that people will say that. She has kill power on her aerials if she can land them and not get punished. Yeah. That being said, I don't know why he's taking the time to transform back yet. It's a little questionable. There we go. How much is it going to take for that transformation? Not much, but not too much, but like horrible positioning. It's yeah. kind of the worst straight off. And Still disadvantageous. Eventually he gets hit off again, he might have to transform again, which... Oh. Alright. Now we won't have to. Also Polish spending college in uh, Pittsburgh, so probably plays, uh... What's his name? The Lake? The Lake or the Wave? Or There's a Zelda main out there who's like famous for beating Nintendo mm. uh, once. And, uh, so got a little bit of Zelda. Got the, got the Zelda practice experience. I see. Potentially. Polish right now just kind of doing a great job of uh, controlling center stage, forcing Lod to move around him um, on the platforms on the side of the stage. She has great defensive tools, as does Peach. Uh, neither of them amazing on the approach game. I'd agree yeah. with that. Bo both have options. Both have things they can do, and obviously, like good players have worked things out. But both would rather be the one holding center, forcing the other guy to come in, holding the stock lead. And right now, Polish gets all of that. Yeah, this uh, could be the set for Polish right now if Lot isn't able to pull this back. With one decent opening, and you know, get Lot out of crouch cancel percentage. That's it. Yeah. That being said, Lod gets a grab here, finishes the stock. Wow. Two stocks to one doesn't look so bad. That was a great grab by Lod. Uh, that, that turnip looked like Polish might have had an opportunity there. But Lod uh, DI'd out to get out of that. All right, and Lod likes to play very safe. Polish being the one going in. Uh, Needle's kind of forced you to do that. Yeah, I, I want to. Gets Lod cornered, gets the pressure on here using that short platform. I wanted to talk about the advantage that uh, Peach's float gives her over avoiding needles, but Lod has actually been doing a really good job of getting the angles. Uh, yeah, it really like gives really her well. some advantage, but you know you can only float for five seconds. Right, and, and you can snipe them on the way down. Like, what's Peach going to do on the way down to block needles? Yeah, unless that's... he's holding a turn up. Like, it's it's an option, but it's not a great one. It doesn't really help you escape all the way, especially against Lod, who's super familiar with it. Yeah. Lod's racked up a decent amount of damage on Polish here. Mm. Yeah, if this finishes off right here, then... 
Right. It's doable. Yeah. I yeah. mean, he's not quite at kill percent left. He's got a little bit left, especially if he can DI well on this stage. As I say that, he gets an edge guard sequence, which is not good for Sheik at all. Uh, all right, Zelda comes back out. Nice job. He's yeah. caught in the ledge. Doesn't Straight matter. Down. Tournament winners back on. Up air, yeah, up air we'll should it. finish it. Yeah. Lod saying, uh, I gave you that. I want to play Yoshi today. And uh, I'm not playing Yoshi Peach. So as long as I go to losers, I could play players who aren't you. <laughs> not, not too bad for Lod. I'm sure he's not all that disappointed. It was yeah. still a good set. Mm, she be too mad about that. It's